Okay, today I've prepared a full thorough ExpressVPN tutorial. I'm gonna show you absolutely everything that I can, from how to install the app, to how to use ExpressVPN features. I'll also sprinkle some other useful tips that other videos somehow fail to mention. The very first part of ExpressVPN setup is picking a plan. Here, the only option I wouldn't recommend is the monthly plan, purely because it can get very expensive. The long-term deals have much more reasonable pricing. Plus, keep in mind that you can get an additional discount with the ExpressVPN coupon code that I put in the description. I'll keep it updated with the biggest and newest deals out there. All right, once you have an account, you can go ahead and download the VPN app straight from their website. The ExpressVPN install is pretty standard. I have just one thing to note here. You'll need to paste in a special activation code. For that, go to the My Account section of the website, and it's gonna be in the Setup Devices tab. Then finish the setup steps and hey, you're done. And no matter what operating system you use, ExpressVPN is easy to use. The apps are really similar, and I can bet that the first thing you'll notice is this giant button. Once you press it, it's gonna connect you to the closest and fastest VPN server. If you want to change the location, well, click right here, and you'll get to choose between the 94 countries, some with multiple locations. But before you can fully use the VPN, there are some essential configuration steps. All of them are within the Options tab, which you can access after clicking these three lines in the corner. If you're on your phone, you're gonna see a tab at the bottom. Now, the very first thing I recommend checking is the tunneling protocol. Unless you have specific connection preferences, make sure to set it to automatic. This way, ExpressVPN is gonna pick the best protocol for your network, which will be lightweight. Well, nine times out of 10 anyway. Now, when I did an ExpressVPN review a couple years back, Lightway was still fairly new and used to struggle a little. But these days, it's up with the fastest top VPNs. During my testing, Express barely had an impact on my original internet speed, and I didn't notice any buffering when streaming foreign content, which, by the way, works great with this VPN, but more on that later. So for now, let's get back to the ExpressVPN setup. Another essential step is enabling the kill switch, AKA the network lock. It will stop all internet traffic in case your VPN connection stumbles, safeguarding you from an IP leak. So in the same window, you can also set up an automatic VPN connection if you want to be under constant VPN protection. Some VPNs allow you to add trusted networks here, which is something I missed during my ExpressVPN review but hopefully they'll add something like this in the future. Now, some apps like Spotify or the Weather Widget don't really need a constant VPN connection. For this, you'll have to learn how to use ExpressVPN's split tunneling feature. It's pretty simple. You can choose the split tunneling type here in the settings and add your selected apps to the list. Just keep in mind that this is a Windows and Android exclusive feature. So now that we're through with the essential settings, there are some ExpressVPN features which will come in handy in your day-to-day -day VPN activities. For example, their shortcuts feature. Super simple to set up right here. You can just add apps or websites and they'll show up on the main dashboard. Yet the easiest tool to start using has to be their threat manager. It's just a checkbox. But once you mark it, it will protect you from trackers and malicious sites as you browse. I only wish that it would block ads as well. Other best VPN options like Surfshark or NordVPN have excellent ad blockers. Hmm? However, ExpressVPN has some features that no other VPN can match, at least not yet. Most notably, there's a one-of-a-kind router setup feature called Device Groups. Usually, when you have a VPN on your router, you can only connect to one location. Your entire household will be on it until you switch to another one. With ExpressVPN, you can separate your devices into five groups and assign different locations to them. Another nice feature is ExpressVPN Keys. It's a password manager that you can add to your browser. While password managers are nothing new, what's unique about this one is that it comes included in the VPN subscription. Yep, there's absolutely no additional charge for it. In the past, I used to complain that Express lacks a lot in terms of features, especially since they're not the cheapest, but this newest addition might as well shut me up. Although ExpressVPN keys is still very new, their autofill works well, and there's a solid password generator in there. Honestly, it's a great start. 
Ooh, and speaking of extensions, you should also know that there's also the ExpressVPN browser extension, which you can use to control the main app, yet you have to have the main app installed to use it. Okay, now let's go to the Chrome Web Store, search it up, and click Add to Chrome. There's really not much else to show here as the extension carries almost the exact same look as the desktop app. It's just easier to access when browsing. Now, if you're planning to use ExpressVPN for torrenting rather than browsing, well, then I have a little tip for you. Bind your VPN with the torrent client. This way, you'll force the torrent client to use ExpressVPN exclusively, avoiding any potential IP leaks in the process. And lastly, if you want to stream some foreign content with ExpressVPN, the only thing you need to do is connect to a VPN server. Now, in case you encounter an error, which is pretty rare to be honest, simply clear your cache and cookies and then switch to a different server. And that's basically all you need to know if you're planning to use ExpressVPN. Let me know if you have any further questions, and if not, leave a like and subscribe. <laughs> I need all the validation I can get. And if you watched this whole ExpressVPN tutorial without having ExpressVPN yet, well, what are you waiting for? Click that box on the side, grab a discount, and enjoy. Hey, thanks for sticking around, and tune in for my next video.